Today, we are going to look at a body viz brain builder about the liver and cirrhosis. The liver is the largest gland in the body and is a lobe glandular organ that is involved in many metabolic processes. The liver is considered an accessory organ of the digestive system because it produces bile, which breaks down the lipids in digestion. However, do not let the word accessory deceive you of how important of a role the liver plays in the body's functioning and your well-being. The liver is located directly inferior to your diaphragm in the right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity with protection from the ribs. The liver is divided into two primary lobes, a larger right lobe and a smaller left lobe. The large right lobe can be divided into an inferior quadrate lobe and a posterior caudate lobe. The liver functions to filter blood of any toxins, process nutrients, and create bile. The liver does these functions through hepatocytes, which are the main cells comprising the liver. The process begins with the hepatic artery and hepatic portal veins entering the liver at the porta hepatis. The blood vessels transport blood through a network of capillaries called the hepatic sinusoids that allow the blood to pass by the hepatocytes, which filter the blood of toxins and absorb nutrients as the blood passes by. At the same time, the hepatocytes are producing bile. The bile is collected into small ducts that run on the surface of the hepatocyte cell membranes and transport the bile to the gallbladder and eventually into the small intestine to assist in digestion of lipids. The liver processes the bloodborne nutrients and toxins from the blood and releases the nutrients back into the blood and circulation through the central vein, which becomes the hepatic vein and flows into the inferior vena cava. Cirrhosis is when extensive scarring of the liver impedes its ability to perform its functions. Cirrhosis is caused by many different types of liver diseases and conditions, like hepatitis and chronic alcoholism, that damage the liver. When the liver is damaged by these diseases and conditions, the liver repairs itself, which in turn creates scar tissue. The more scar tissue formed, the harder it becomes for the liver to function. Advanced cirrhosis can be life-threatening. Next, we will look at the symptoms, causes, and treatments for cirrhosis, and finally, give a patient example. Symptoms for cirrhosis include fatigue, easily bleeding or bruising, loss of appetite, nausea, swelling in one's legs, ankles, and feet. This can also be called edema, weight loss, itchy skin, jaundice of the skin and eyes, fluid in the abdomen, spider-like blood vessels, hormonal imbalances, and finally, confusion, drowsiness, and slurred speech. Causes for cirrhosis include chronic alcohol abuse, chronic viral hepatitis, including hepatitis B, C, and D, fat accumulating in the liver, an iron buildup in the body, cystic fibrosis, poorly formed bile ducts, and other bile and liver dysfunctions, hardening and scarring of the bile ducts, infection such as syphilis or brucellosis, and certain medications. The damage caused by cirrhosis cannot generally be undone. However, with an early diagnosis and the cause of cirrhosis being treated, further damage can be prevented. Treatments for cirrhosis involve treating the underlying cause and can include sobriety for cirrhosis caused by excessive alcohol, weight loss in the case of fatty liver disease, medications used to control hepatitis, and other medications to control the other symptoms and causes of cirrhosis. A liver transplant surgery may be the only treatment option in advanced cirrhosis cases. This treatment requires extensive testing to ensure the candidate is healthy enough to undergo the surgery. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 45. Gender, male. Chief complaints, weakness, and weight gain, including 15 pounds in three weeks, a brownish tint in his urine, and swelling on the right side of his abdomen in the hypochondriac region. You invite the patient into your office for an examination. You ask the patient about what he does for an occupation. He tells you that he is a long haul cross country truck driver. You also notice he has one tattoo on each forearm. Because tattoos involve direct blood contact, this indicates a potential risk of hepatitis. His patient history reveals a diagnosis and treatment for acute hepatitis B two years ago, but currently he is asymptomatic for hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a disease that infects the liver and can cause inflammation and damage to the liver. 
you ask about any alcohol or drug usage, and the patient reports he drinks half to one case of beer per week. The patient also exhibits light jaundice of the skin and sclera of the eyes. You send a liver function tests and reveal abnormal results. Next, a CT scan and biopsy of the liver confirms a diagnosis of cirrhosis of the liver. The damage to this patient's liver cannot be undone, but you are able to prescribe medications to help with his symptoms. This is a classic example of liver cirrhosis. Subscribe to our BodyVis channel for more real 3D anatomy patient case examples.